So what I hear is, oh, well, women can have the same yoga practice every day. No, they can't. No, no, no. If we do not respect our natural cycles, for example, our natural menstrual cycle, then we become utterly depleted, guys. Um, I don't know about yourself, but in my 20s, I used to take the pill all the way through three, six months at a time. So I didn't have to have any periods. And I could, um, you know, go on holiday, you know, that pesky menstruation wouldn't annoy me or whatever. We've all done it. It's been nothing but an inconvenience. And that has to change. We are fighting against our own bodies and we have to adapt our yoga practice and lifestyle to align with what's actually going on inside our bodies instead of ignoring it. So let's look into the natural cycles a little bit. So what I'm saying to you now is that we as women need to adjust our yoga practice and lifestyle throughout the month, all right? If we don't, we cannot possibly find balance. As I said, we were brought up and told, you know, ignore your periods, push on through your pregnancy, get right back into those genes post-baby. It is wrong, wrong, wrong. We need to identify, understand, and respect those patterns to make the most of the levels of peaks in our menstrual cycle. So there are different times in the month when we're going to have more energy, we're going to be more passionate, creative, we're going to have more inspiration, and there are times when we're going to feel the absolute shit as well. All right. So they, we really we, we can't ignore these times. And if we start to track our menstrual cycles and become aware of them and respect them, we can get the most from our life. All right. Now, women have a natural connectivity with each other and the natural rhythms of nature. So I'm going to talk in the next slide about our connection with the lunar cycle. All right. Stay with me, guys. Stay with me. It's not going to get too woo woo. Um, and as I said, by increasing our awareness this, of this, we're just going to improve everything in our lives so much. Um, there are studies as well showing that by aligning our menstrual cycle with the lunar cycle, we can also help to ease PMS by aligning with nature. All right. Um, now, this is not just monthly cycles. We need to be respectful of our life stage and seasonal cycles as well, aiming to just basically live as much and as possible in line with how we are feeling inside. Tuning into what we need and honoring that, giving ourselves some love. Okay, so the lunar cycle and the menstrual cycle. Don't be too wooed out with this one, guys. Um, before we go on to this, I just want to ask you a wee question if I can figure it out. Oh, here it is, Paul. Oh, right, so I just want to ask everyone another question um who is currently aware of their menstrual cycle who currently has an awareness of their menstrual cycle all right mm -hmm. so i'd love to know i'm just getting comfy in this as you do here you're with me none whatsoever i hear you lady all right i'm fully aware oh this is interesting all right so none whatsoever i know roughly when my period's due I try to bring awareness to my cycle. I'm fully aware of my cycle. I am completely attuned to the moon. That would be me. Or something else. And pop that in the chat box if there's something else there. All right. Oh, I like this. This is interesting. Okay, and I will share these results with you as well, guys. Oh. Very interesting. All right. Let me see. Oh. Let me, I'll just check in the chat, I've seen something. Mm, no cycle as breastfeeding, menopausal, I'm 58. Yep, that seems fair. Okay. Postpartum, okay, ladies. Some of you have no menstrual cycle. Okay. Let me see. So I'm just going to share these results with you. Okay, so you can see, guys, um, a lot of you have absolutely no idea anything about your menstrual cycle, and that's fine. Not your fault. I know roughly when my period's due, I try to bring awareness. I'm fully aware that's fantastic. Loads of people really aware. Lots of people tune to the moon. I bet I know them. <laughs> and we have a few of us breastfeeding or past that stage altogether. All right. So that's great. That's really, really interesting. Okay. So I'll just pop that close. Um, so you see my little chart here. So there are actually eight moon phases, but I'm keeping it simple for these purposes. And as you can see, each stage of the moon, um, traditionally, 
aligned with stages of the female menstrual cycle as well. I'm not going to go fully into this. It's a huge topic on its own, all right? But by tracking the menstrual cycle, especially with the moon, we can identify patterns in our month. And the energy of the moon, when we bleed at the same time as the moon energy, it actually helps us identify and tune into that energy as well, all right? And we can plan the rest of our, our month our creative times, our doing times, our hiding from the rest of the world times. So let me give you an example. So we just had a, a gorgeous big full moon there. And that is traditionally the time of ovulation, all right? When we are feeling more sexual, we've got higher energy, we're just much more young. It's a very young time. We want to socialize. Um, and this is traditionally when women are at their strongest. And if we are ovulating at the time of the full moon, the full moon energy is exactly that, what we are physically feeling. All right. And we can connect with that energy. And it just um, emphasizes that. And, and we're just we're living in line with our true nature, the nature of our body and the nature of the lunar cycle. All right. And again, just a, a quick um, little fact about menstrual cycles. Before electric lighting, women all used to live together, all used to bleed together. And I'm sure that many of you have had flatmates who bled at the same time as them. Your cycles have aligned. And they used to go to a red tent or a moon lodge at the same time at the new moon. This was traditionally the bleeding time. And all the women would bleed together for seven days in the red tent or the moon lodge. Um, and they would rest and they would brush each other's hair, wash each other's feet. If you haven't read Red Tent by Anne Diamant, please do. It's fictional, but it's fabulous. Um, and, you know, it was about nurturing yourself and sharing stories and reflecting and that's what we should be doing during our period. Now, I don't do anything for three days at the start of my period. I just give into it because I am pretty much dead. And that's fantastic. Now, with regards to yoga, we cannot be throwing ourselves into a Bikram or Ashtanga practice at this time. It is counterintuitive. It is not what our body needs. And we are not helping ourselves. And that is why you're not getting what you need from your yoga practice when you're throwing all that yang energy at a time when it is so so yin and you need to be chilling out every month guys we have the opportunity to cleanse and regenerate and we tend to just ignore it right so by acknowledging this we can adapt and attune our yoga practice and our lifestyle to be in line with this cycle too okay so I don't want to get into it too much. As I said, it's a huge topic. If you're interested, this is something we cover in the CYT training. Or I have a lunar kit on the website. There's also the Yoga for Life journal you can get on Amazon, one of my books. And um, talks more about this and allows you to track your cycle as well.